Hey everyone, I'm Nerd Queen Alexis and welcome back to the channel. Today we are taking a look at all the rev the reveals, the reviews. Yes, we're... <laughs> I... Bleh. Anyway, Adepticon is happening. Happy Adepticon, I guess. I didn't go this year. I'm in Iceland. It turns out it's pretty hard to get there, especially trying to convince your boss for a week off. It's actually not that hard here. You can do that. And it's amazing. Because here they actually care about you. Anyway, jokes aside, Adepticon reveals, let's take a look. There is a lot. A lot. So in another video, I went over the 10th edition reveal. Uh, that'll be, uh, I don't know where. It'll be somewhere. It's on the channel. But yeah, we have the Termagons, the Terminators, the reveal. Uh that thing, and this. All right, so let's go through this really quickly. We got the Termagant, and honestly, he looks insane. It's kind of cool that the Hormagant has the, the bigger back, and it looks like something on his back. I'm not sure yet. I'm really excited to see him. I, I still like the old Termagant. He looks really stupid. But yeah, they desperately needed an update to this kit. I already have like a hundred of these, so I'm probably not going to buy them unless they're in a box set. But, you know, it's still cool to have them. Yeah, what is this? Holy crap, that's loud. Okay, it's just a showing off of the Termagant. It's cool that the Termagant learned how to open his mouth. Like, that's, that's new, and all the ones that they showed is not. But this one, yeah. All right, so that's the Termagons. Termagons look cool. The Terminators, uh, they're cool. I mean, I'm, I don't really care about normal Terminators. I play Dark Angel Terminators. My Terminators are just better than your Terminators. Uh, it's just a fact. But jokes aside, I'm hoping this kit actually comes with um, the stuff to make all the other Terminators, like Thunder Hammer, Storm Shield, Light and Claws, uh, power sword, um, for the heavy weapons, I'm hoping it has a heavy flamethrower. It'd be cool to have a Terminator with a Multimelta. It would make the shooting variant much cooler, in my opinion. But yeah, uh, there's, there's a few things that they could add to these to make them better. Because the normal Fist Stormbolter Terminators kinda suck right now. Like, you take them generically, like, you don't even take this. You take the Cyclone Missile Launcher, which is just the better weapon option. Um, so it's cool to see the Assault Cannon. I hope the Assault Cannon gets some better rules in 10th edition. So then we have the trailer. We already went through the trailer. It's on the channel. I love this so much. Is that Raven Guard in the background? It is Raven Guard. Heck yeah, let's go. And then we just have this, which we're not going to go through. Okay. So that was that. I'm really excited about this. I, I shared my opinions about this in the last video, but 10th edition. Let's talk about this for a moment. 10th edition is looking a lot like AOS uh, in terms of how they're setting up their uh, charts and everything. So the strength is on the weapon itself and not the units. So the units don't no longer have strength characteristics. They also have OCs. Now this is to tell you that Games Workshop has the original character, Do Not Steal. And they, they have it twice, so that, that's theirs. You can't take it. And they call dibs twice, so you have to call dibs three times in order to use it. I don't know what the OC actually stands for yet. Uh, I My first thought was unicoherency, but that's not a thing. Uh, well, that's I can't say that's not a thing. That isn't what it is. Um, so I, I'm not confused about it. I, I want to know. And the rest of the stats, it plays much like normal 10th edition, uh, normal 9th edition from its looks, where it tells you what you need to hit and uh, tells you the strength, and you still compare against toughness, which uh, when I heard that toughness might be gone, I was I was really hoping it would be, uh, but it's not. So it is what it is. It is what it is. All right, now let's get to the reveal of the lion. The lion is fucking awesome. I don't know how else I could stress this. This, this guy is fucking cool. It's weird that his follower, his watchers in the dark are not green robed. But that's fine. Look at this dude. Also, he's not wielding his sword. I guess he's got to get it back from Cypher. So, you know, 
That's the thing. He's wielding the Emperor's shield, which is, again, fucking cool. And yeah, he just, he looks amazing. My cat is on the stove. Like, look at this dude. I, it's cool that he actually has a lion pelt on him now. Uh, that's pretty amazing. Hello, can you not be dumb for two minutes? Thank you. He's gonna be dumb. So we also have to get to get a chance to see his pistol. We don't know what it is yet. Uh, but I'm assuming it's the same pistol that he has in 30k. So really cool. I'm glad that he has a shoulder pauldron with his own name on it. That way he knows that this specific suit of 11 foot tall power armor is his and not any of his brothers. You know, it's very important. He gets it confused very often. My my cat is is still just playing in a bag. Anyway, this helmet to this helmet, it, it's really, really, really funny to me. I I honestly hope that when he moves the hood, ears just boing. <laughs> I think it would be funny. This this face is probably my favorite though. Uh, he just looks badass. He looks like Robin Hood mixed with King Arthur, which, like, let's be real, his he is King Arthur. Um, yeah, looks amazing. I can't wait to see him next to Gilliman, and I think I'm actually gonna buy Gilliman because I have the other two Primarchs. I have Engron. I have uh, I don't have Mortarian, but Mortarian's a bitch. All right, Lion, ten out of ten. Looks amazing. Also has a ponytail. Did not expect that. And we get the final books of the Arcs of Omen, which, if you haven't followed it, is basically... Uh, it's it's a story. Um, it's pretty good. It's not great, but it's pretty good. I would say it's a solid, like, 8 out of 10. In terms of campaign books for GW has released. So, yeah. I get to see Samael in the background here. Uh, anything else of note in here? No, not really. We do get an, a, a Land Raider Crusader. I don't remember the last time we've seen Crusaders in pictures. Also, the new Azrael is just in the background like, Hey, Dad. Uh, <laughs> I feel so bad for Azrael. Oh, wait, that's not Azrael. That's Azrael. That's, um, Asmodai. But I feel bad for Azrael because he's like, yeah, I'm in a box set. And then Lion just comes out and he's just like, get in, get in line. This, I want to read this battle, but I know that this is a nothing burger. This is something to show like, oh, Engron can't be stopped. Lion solos him. Because let's face it, Engron is one of the worst combat Primarchs to fight. He loses fights like crazy. He loses fights to like normal dudes. Um, that's a joke. He's actually not the worst. Uh, Engron has beaten... Hey, Victor? Mm -hmm. Has Engron ever won a fight? Um... I mean, without getting help? Yeah, like, on his own. Has he ever won a fight? Holy cow. Uh, so yeah, he's probably going to lose this fight to Lion because they're not going to kill off Lion. And Engron right now can't die because he comes back in like eight months, eight days or something like that. And then yeah, we got Lion being all like, yo, you think darkness is your friend? I was born in it, molded by it. That he literally has the big speech here. But yeah, Lion, 10 out of 10. Can't wait to get him. Like... I 1,000% want him. And I'll probably even check out the Arcs of Omen books. Never get the Siege. Um, I'm going to be real with you. Most uh, Horse Heresy players kind of do their own campaign books. So I guess these will be cool. I'm probably just going to get it. But at the same time, uh, it's just a campaign book. I don't think there's going to be rules in it. I hope. Over 100 pages of narrative content. I don't think there's. I don't think there's rules in here, is there? It can't be. It's consumed by a roaring war and under siege by the Imperial Fist. Hey, the Imperial Fist doing that thing they're known for. 
blah, 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 vows to retake the home, yada, yada, yada. Okay, so that's, that's cool. Yeah, I'll probably pick this up. I have all the books for a horse heresy right now, so, I mean, it's just one more thing. Then we got a new kill team, and, um, yeah, it's, uh, it's something. Yeah, it's, it's pretty cool. Like, I honestly think it's a very basic. Victor wants it. I love this guy with knuckle dusters. Like, this guy straight up with power knuckles. Like, that's that's my Chad right there. This dude right here is a champion. I don't care about... You know what? I want this box just because of him. Then you got the dude with the rotor cannon. You got this dude who's a medic. Um, you got dude pointing. You got dude running. You got dude with jump pack in a confined area. Not practical at all, but sure, why not? Uh, dude's got a power axe. Let's go. This dude has a bandolier of every explosive ever. I do not trust him. And then we got the uh, Beastmen. The Chaos Beastmen. Uh, it's cool to see them back again. We saw them in Blackstone Fortress, so it's interesting to see that they're, they're here again. Kind of want this to be a unit in just the generic uh, Chaos book. Um, uh, Honestly, what I want is more crazy elements of the chaos nonsense. Like, I want renegades and heretics, and these would be perfect for renegades and heretics. Like, just toss them all into a book and call it a day. I think these guys are cool, though. And they've got, like, a shaman, so, you know, that's, that's pretty cool. Uh, this dude with a metal fist, that's pretty cool. This guy with some big hands. This dude... Wielding three knives, because two knives are lame. And then, like, a Nurgle one, who's got, like, a gas grenade for a hand. Interesting. Yeah, I like them. They come with a uh, new terrain. If you play the Fallout um, RPG, this would be perfect for uh, the company that made, made the... Uh, the cheap bomb shelters. Hey, Victor. Yeah? What was the name of the company that made the bomb shelters uh, everywhere in Fallout? The tube ones that are garbage. Voltec. No, not Voltec. Uh, the... You know this. No. The uh, blue pill boxes that are around all the towns and everything. Right. Yeah, I can't remember what it is. Somebody in the comments. And we have the happiest Leesords ever. Look at how fucking... I want these because they look like they're just having a great time. They all look super happy and super cartoony. They are so cute and adorable. But I hate the fact that GW gave them the wrist. No! I am going to... I, and I encourage everyone who gets this box to take their wrists and turn them. Dinosaurs didn't run like this. They ran like this. Their hands were sideways. Eh. Overall, I am happy to see feathers on these guys. I am happy to see, like, these just look amazing. They look a thousand. These, I want this army just because of how amazing they look. Like, they look fantastic. I absolutely love all of these guys. Look, look at that. Look at how happy this this cold one is. It's not a cold one, but it it's kind of a cold one. It's the new cold ones. Look at how happy he is. Just look at that face. He looks like he's getting away with what he did. It's a shit eating grin. And this guy is like, oh yeah, you're scratching the right spot on my head. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and he's all like, oh, we're striking an angry pose. And he's just like, yay, I'm included. <laughs> <laughs> He's so happy. And then we got the Croxagores with their wallop sticks. I don't know what these are called, but, you know, I don't know AOS at all. Um, I know that these are taken pretty much from um, the Warhammer Fantasy Battle game, uh, which name I can't remember because I don't... Total War Warhammer. And they look pretty good. And then we got these guys who still look like they're happy. Look at him, he's so happy. I love these guys. These guys are just great for D&D &D as well. 
I don't want to know why someone was reaching for your crotch. Uh, that what you do is you. Okay, so this is the box set which comes with happy dinosaurs, more happy dinosaurs, giant slime dude, and a whole bunch of these guys. Yeah, I'm gonna try to get this one. Look at they tried to make him look all serious in this one. But no, we know the truth. We know how happy he is. Holy shit, they're huge. I did not expect them to be that big. This army is amazing. It just looks fantastic. Alright, then we got Vampire Werewolf Person. Ooga booga booga. These guys are great conversions for Necrons. I'm not gonna lie, this guy looks stupid. Um, yeah, nah. Nah, still not doing it for me. This is... This is... This is okay. It's just kind of okay. Rest of the army looks better. Yeah, it can't all be winners. Then the uh, first look at the human soldiers. I like these. I like these a lot. Uh, we're going to get some of these for Warhammer Fantasy Battle, so I'm excited about that. Um, so yeah, they look really good. I like them. Next up, we have probably the worst thing here. Um, Narwood. So, let's see. We got Stormcast Eternal looking bored. Stormcast Eternal with white face. Looks a little silly. I assume these are all like wizards. And they, they look okay. But these, these look a thousand times better. These I want. Very much. Look at this thing. Look at this little guy. Hello, I would pet you. I would also probably put this thing out of its misery. I do like how chaotic it is. I love these creatures. I love how chaotic they are. The, everything else in this set looks amazing. Like, they're just having fun. And I think that was it for the reveals itself. But, like, the thing that steals the show is is literally Lion and the animation. Like, let's be real. Um, so, I'm very happy with all these reveals. I think they're fantastic. I hope that they put more towards other races. Uh, ninth edition gave us a whole bunch of Necrons. Tenth edition is giving us Tyranids. Uh, only we only have to wait until like eighteenth edition to get new Eldar. It'll be great, and we'll finally have Eldar in eighteenth edition. You know, when they phase out most of uh, the Eldar. Boom. Anyway, guys, if you enjoyed this video, please comment your favorite thing down below. Uh, tell me if you're getting happy lizards. I'm definitely getting happy lizards. Happy dino lizards. I love them. I think they're the best. Um, best definitely picking up the lion. Like, 100%. That thing is a must-include. The worst part is, is I have a lion that my buddy lets me use, the Horus Heresy one. And I have another one. And, yeah, this would be lion number three. So, let's fucking go. These look amazing. I'm very happy with this. I really, there's a few things that I, I'm really hoping for. I'm hoping the Terminator kit includes all the weapons to make the assault Terminators. And I'm hoping they do what they did for 30k and put 10 Terminators in a box. Because as it stands right now, even though the new Terminators look nice, if you want to pay and have efficient armies, you would just buy the 10 Terminators from Horus Heresy and just get the weapons. Just saying. But let me know what your thoughts are in the comments down below. As always, I'm Darren Queen Alexis. I love you guys. Bye.